Hey everybody, so today I got some, or tonight, I've got some announcements. So, um, I was, have been thinking about, like, you know, elevators and smoke alarms all day. And, um, and then I was thinking about storm sirens too. I think I'm gonna discontinue all the siren content. I'm gonna leave the current ones up, but I'm gonna discontinue the siren content because I just don't really find them fascinating. And plus, I am very busy with a ton of homework from my program I'm attending. So, I know it's really annoying that, you know, I have to do a lot of homework now in life. It just, it really sucks because I don't always have the time to go ride elevators. And I really want to ride elevators. But again, I just don't have the time. But I really want to film some elevators. So next week I'm thinking about maybe going to the either the office buildings or Stonebriar. I've haven't really decided. I'm gonna um talk to my friends to see if what elevators they want me to film. The friends that I have that are into elevators as well, who like elevators, because I have a few that like elevators. And then um now smoke alarm content. I will be doing a bunch of smoke alarm content in the future, so Please look forward to that if you possibly can. So my collection is growing massive. So as you can see, I have a bunch of Kitta. I have a few Firex alarms. And then I have um, First Alerts and BRKs in here. But let me think. Another thing. Um, I know places have been getting harder to film at, I've noticed. Like, malls mainly. Because Stonebriar, they're beyond strict about filming. So I have to be really careful there. At Willow Bend, they don't really care too much from what I know. Um, one of my friends said that they don't usually care as long as you don't get store signs. So, um... I guess when I film there next time, I just, I'll just have to make sure I don't get any signs on video. So I'll, I'll be sure, I'll be careful with that. But, um, yeah. Let me think. I know somebody got busted there, but something must have been misheard. Either that or it was just that security guard had, um, I don't know, but, um, yeah, it, I guess it mainly really depends on the security guard, either that or, yeah, because a little bit, I've been seen filming before and they haven't really said anything to me other than just looking at me and driving away in security cars. But yeah, it must not really be too much of an issue, but I'm thinking about filming there tomorrow, maybe. I'll film the Ovoters in Garage A, the Schindler MTs. I'll have to decide. I I really want to film those, but yeah, just all depends. So, um... But yeah, um, if y'all are wondering why I haven't been as active, it's just because, or I haven't been uploading as much, as it's because I'm busy with homework. I know it really is boring, homework, it really is boring, and I do complain about it, because I really want to film elevators and smoke alarms, but, I just, but sadly, homework is more important. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> Believe me. I never really had to do homework when I was in grade school. Which helped a lot. 
The only homework I really had was visiting that psychologist at um, the summit at Preston Trails. I love those buildings. It just sucks that that Dover traditional got modded. I, I've been really sad about that the past few days. Stonebriar's Glass Elevator. Yeah, I've been really sad about that. But for the most part, I'm doing pretty well. If y'all are wondering, yeah, I'm doing pretty well. But yeah, there's my smoke alarm collection. So, yep. So I probably won't be getting any new additions till like the end of November or maybe even till Christmas. I've asked my family if um I could have smoke alarms for Christmas. And um, they said, we'll see. So, um, I'm hoping I'll get something good for Christmas, like a first alert 9120B or something like that. Because I have the BRK 4120B right there, and then I have the CO 5120B. Let me think. Another thing. I have Thanksgiving trip plans... I have plans to go to Kentucky during Thanksgiving. And I'm going to film the elevators at the malls there. I'm thinking about like doing Fayette Mall. And um, doing like... Let me think. I'll probably be doing Ogsmore Center Mall in the Kentucky Science Center. So Yeah. I'm looking forward to doing that. And I'm also going to check my aunt's smoke alarms because I, me and my family might be having Thanksgiving dinner at their house. So I'll check to see if she still has the Kida. Um, forget the model, but to the right of my I-4618 is um, a Kida. That's what my aunt has in her house. Hers are really yellow. Probably from being there so long. I remember when they were white. So they've probably just aged. But yeah, I'm not sure if those are still there or not. But I will double check for y'all. And, and I'm going to ask her about the Firex G6 in the um water heater room. The Firex G6 that she has, it looks a lot like my Firex 80 ramp up that's right there. But, um, except it has, it's smaller and it has a different mounting bracket and it can only be operated off of hard wires, but the rest of the smoke alarms in her house are Kida. And then there's a couple first alert 9120Bs, if I'm remembering correctly. I'll have to see, um... I don't really go into my cousin's bedrooms unless they invite me. So, um, if they invite me into their rooms, I'll check those smoke alarms too to see if the first alert 9120Bs are there. But, um, yeah, I want to respect their preferences because I really, my room, I like to, um, have it to myself. So, yeah. Um, you never know. I, I, I prefer to respect people's preferences when it comes to that. But yeah, let me think. I know my grandmother got her Firex 80 ramp ups replaced and I now have them. Um, one of my aunts, she got her Firex photoelectric alarms, which I have one. It's the one to the left of my Kida K-N-C-O-P-E-I-C. She used to have those, but um, she got them replaced with Kida 10-year life alarms. And then there's some i3s on her um, Honeywell Vista 20P burglar alarm system. Let me think. Another smoke alarm update. So another one of my aunts... She used to have these BRK smoke alarms. They had buzzers on them. From what I think they had buzzers on them. I'm not sure. But they were in they were in her house for many years. 
um, when she got her house partially renovated, um, she got them replaced with Firex I-4618s, which is what I have currently. So, mine is, this one in my room is located basically in, almost in the center of my room. It's just like off to the angle where a dome light fixture used to be. I got a ceiling fan put up there because I got really hot. And then um, that still wasn't enough, so I had to have those fans. But yeah. The, but that's where that smoke alarm is. Um, this Fire XI 4618. There used to be a BRK 4120B up there. I've explained the story on that, so there's no need to explain it again. So yeah. And then I realized I have to get my fire extinguisher replaced. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Lowe's at some point and um get new fire extinguishers because um I've researched and the pressure in those do die down and I need these in case of electrical fires. Because I work with electricity when it comes to making those interconnecting systems. And since my uncle taught me how to work with electricity many years, or it was back in 2018 when he taught me how to work with electricity, I'm actually quite decent at it now. But still for my house, I prefer to, as of right now, I prefer to like have an electrician do it, but... In the future, I might be the one to do it. I'm not sure yet. It all depends. And I've got my smoke can and then my first alert fire spray. I have my smoke sensor and smoke can, which I use to test my smoke alarms in my house annually. So, yeah. Let me think. Another elevator thing. I know, like, I've noticed, like, many Dover elevators are getting modded. Because according to elevators of Miami, some Miami impulses got modded. Which really sucks. Sucks to see that many Dovers are going away. Because the one at the... I forget the address. I forget the building number, but... It was at the summit at Preston Trails, two-story Dover Traditional. Sadly, it got modded by Fuji Tech. I saw the mod in progress, and I saw, let me think, I saw maintenance cars that said Fuji Tech. So, yeah, I was very sad. Stonebriar's Glass Elevator also, that one brought me by surprise big time. I was not expecting that to get modded. Especially since it's only like from 2000, so let me think. But yes, I'm thinking about going to film some elevators. I'll just have to see how much homework I have and if I can take breaks or not because I've been super busy. Trust me, it's annoying. But yeah, there's my smoke alarms. So, interestingly enough, um, I've only been into smoke alarms for, and fire alarms for like a couple months. Because what's insane is I used to be really afraid of this stuff. I mean, like, every time we'd have a fire drill at my elementary school, I would get really scared. But they would let me know ahead of time. They had EST Genesis fire alarms, and then, um... I would get really scared, but, um, I noticed like I can do, I have my ear protection and I wear this when I test smoke alarms and fire alarms. When they're, when I'm going to have fire drills at my program that I'm attending, I've already talked to the staff and yes, um, they said I can film the fire drills and they're going to let me know ahead of time. So I'll have this ear protection with me and then. I'll have my gear ready and then I'll film the fire drill. So be so fire alarm collectors and smoke alarm collectors be look, be stay tuned for that. 
Yeah, but they have a spectral or an advance on the outside of the building. So, yeah. But yeah, I'm very glad to have um, my grandmother's Firex AD ramp up smoke alarms. So yeah, doing pretty well for the most part. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded as frequent. It's just that I've got homework. Lots of it. I know I'm really frustrated that I have all this. But believe me, I'm I'm going to upload whenever I can. And I'm going to... I'm trying to come up with some creative ideas for smoke alarms. And then I've been searching on YouTube for new elevators to film. And then I thought about pulling whoopee cushion pranks. But um, we'll have to see how that goes. Because yes, I do love whoopee cushions. Yeah, they're funny as heck, if you ask me. I've loved whoopee cushions since I was young. I was maybe like six or seven when I got my first whoopee cushion. And I just I just saw one in, an, in a package and then it said it made fart sounds. So I got it. And yep, I think, I don't know why, but I'm really childish. <laughs> fart sounds make me laugh unbelievably hard. So, yep, but these smoke alarms actually do me pretty well. I, I really like, I keep these operational at all times. So, um, if anything happens, I, I will definitely wake up and people have told me some of my friends and family have told me that if there's a fire in my room ever. Or if there's a fire in this house, I'll definitely know. And yeah, it's it, there's full proof. Look at that. All my smoke alarms, most of them are like blinking red. That's because the battery, they blink every minute to let you know that the battery is operational. And then I have this one that, that alarm on the ceiling, it actually doesn't work. Um, the sensor doesn't work, but the horn does. It, it did not go off when I sprayed it with the smoke can. So, yeah. And then, let me note some things that are known to produce carbon monoxide. Gas furnaces. Gas furnaces, like on your heating system, can definitely um, produce carbon monoxide. So, I decided to put my carbon monoxide alarms right under my AC vent in case something like that happens. Gas fireplaces are another one that will give you like that can give you carbon monoxide, which is, I think it's a very rare possibility. Hopefully it is. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. I like to give everybody the correct information. So let me think. Another, like, some, I have a kid at KNCOPEIC in the hallway because there's stuff in the garage that might produce carbon monoxide, so that's why I have it there. I, I'd rather be safe than sorry, if you know that saying. My aunt says that saying all the time. So, but yeah, this is... Just some updates I have. I'm doing pretty well. I pre It was a lot of updates, so I decided not to do a community post. My YouTube community posts are mainly, I don't really do, I'm gonna not really going to do updates in community posts anymore. I'm going to make videos when I have updates. My community posts are mainly going to be comedy, so I'm going to make funny um toilet jokes in them, and then I'll make a bunch of puns, talk about Captain Underpants, which is my favorite book, because it's potty humor. Let me think. But I'll also do some, like... Let me think. I'll do some, like, voting things for content at times. But yeah, I'm going to start doing updates in videos instead. It's just easier 
so that way I do not have to type all that much because my fingers do start to hurt after a long period of time of typing. And plus, I am a talker. I love to socialize. So, um, yeah. Since I'm a talker, I, I prefer to just say it on video. But yeah, hopefully, please be looking forward. Hopefully everyone is looking forward to um, my future smoke alarm content, which I'm trying to come up with some creative smoke alarm content for y'all. And featuring the hardwire harnesses and all that. And I'm trying to, um, and then, I know some of y'all might be discontinued that I'm, or disappointed that I'm discontinuing siren content. But yeah, I just don't really find them fascinating all that much. So I'm going to discontinue that. But, um, elevator content, yeah, that's going to be, elevator content, yeah, will be showing up a lot more because I am badly wanting to film elevators. So, um, believe me, I'm going to try my hardest this week to get a whole bunch of them for you guys. And if you all have any suggestions of any elevators in, like, my area that you want me to film, please, please, absolutely, please feel free to share your suggestions. And then if it's something I can approve, I'll definitely approve it and figure out when I can film it and all that. And But if it's something like... That I can't approve. I'll have to say no to whatever it is. But yeah. I hope y'all are looking forward to the future of my channel. It's going to feature a lot more elevators. A lot more smoke alarms. And even some like reactions videos I'm with that I do with Anthony. There's going to be a lot of live streaming. I usually live stream on Fridays. With Anthony, so. Yep. Friday. Friday fun day. Or Monday pun day. Yeah. I like Fridays. I'm sure everyone does, but. Yeah, that's when I'm the happiest. So, um, let me think. But yeah. I. Well, like I said, I, I really hope y'all are looking forward to a lot more elevator content. I'm going to try my hardest to get some more, to get elevators out there for y'all. Since I absolutely love elevators. I, I love them and I will always love them. It's been a hobby of mine since, I don't know, I was really little when I started liking elevators. So, and then there's going to be a, a bunch of cool smoke alarm content too. And I'm really hoping to get vintage ones. But the thing is, they're just so overpriced. It's ridiculous. Like on eBay, they're about, I don't know, $30. And then at Lowe's, they're like 50 or 60 something dollars. It's ridiculous. I know, um, inflation rates definitely ruin all this. The COVID pandemic hit us really hard. It hit me hard too, because I, I hated being at home. I really hated being at home not, and not being able to watch ride elevators. It really sucked. So yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for the inconvenience on discontinuing siren content, but, um, I'm going to, in the my channel description, I'm going to still leave You Will Find Sirens because I'm going to leave the three videos up uh, about the sirens. But, um, yeah, like I said, there's going to be a lot more elevator content. And then there's going to be a lot more um, smoke alarm content, too. If you ask me if I like commercial fire alarms or... Um, Household smoke alarms better. In my personal opinion, I think household smoke alarms are cooler. For some reason, I just like household smoke alarms better. I think they're a lot cooler. And they're a lot more unique. And they're sure a lot easier to c 
collect. I, I cannot afford a fire alarm system. Although I wish, I wish I could put one in my room, but I just don't have the money. But maybe in the long future, yeah, I, I hope to get a fire alarm system, but that's not going to happen anytime soon, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm, that fire FX something something in that person's house who I know, um, she probably isn't going to be replacing it, so sadly I'm probably not going to be able to get that. I, I tried, and I'm just not going to bug her about it because I don't want to, you know, I'm just going to leave her be about it. That's when the you do you part comes in. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this little up or big updates video. And then... Like I said, I'm sorry for the inconvenience on siren content, but Elvutter and content Elvutter content and smoke alarm content are gonna be a really big thing on this channel for, for a while. Elvutters especially. I'm going to make some time. I'm gonna try and arrange some time so I can film some Elvutters. I wanna get Twin Creeks Medical. I wanna get both the Schindler HT and the Tissenkrupp Impulse. AKA the official elevators of elevators with ESH all in one take. So I'm going to, I'm going to try my hardest to do that next week for y'all. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And thank you very much for watching.